Welcome to Stories with Sarah. My name's Sarah, and today I'll be reading out of Irish Fairy and Folk Tales, which has been edited and selected by A. W. B. Yeats. I've picked two poems out of here, one called The Fairies, and the other called The Leprechauns, and I hope you all enjoy them. All right. Starting with the fairies, up the airy mountain, down the rushy glen, we daren't go a hunting for fear of the little men. We folk, good folk, trooping all together. Green jacket, red cap, and white owl's feather. Down along the rocky shore, some make their home. They live on crispy pancakes of yellow tied foam. Summon the reeds of the black mountain lake with the frogs for their watchdogs all night awake. High on the hilltop, the old king sits. He is now so old and gray He's nigh lost his wits. With a bridge of white mist, Columkill he crosses on his steady journeys from Slevlige to Rosses. Or going up with music on cold starry nights to sup with the queen on the gay northern lights. They stole little Bridget for seven years long. When she came down again, her friends were all gone. They took her lightly back between the night and morrow. They thought that she was fast asleep, but she was dead with sorrow. They have kept her ever since deep within the lake on a bed of flag leaves, watching till she wake. By the craggy hillside, through the mosses bare, they have planted thorn trees for pleasure here and there. Is any man so daring as dig them up in spite? He shall find their sharpest thorns in his bed at night. Up the airy mountain, down the rushy glen, we daren't go a hunting for fear of little men. We folk, good folk, trooping all together. Green jacket, red cap, and white owl's feather. All right, for the second one, I'll be reading The Leprechauns or Fairy Shoemaker. Little cowboy, what have you heard? Up on the lonely rat's green mound, only the plaintive yellow bird. Sighing in sultry fields around, chari, 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 chi'i. Only the grasshopper and the bee, tip, tap, rip, rap, tick, attack, too. Scarlet leather sewn together, this will make a shoe. Left, right, pull it tight. Summer days are warm. Underground in the winter, laughing at the storm. Lay your ear close to the hill. Do you not catch the tiny clamor? Busy clink of an elfin hammer. Voice of the leprechaun singing shrill as he merrily piles his trade. He's a span and a quarter in height. Get him in sight, hold him tight, and you're made a man. You watch your cattle the summer day, sup on potatoes, sleep in the hay. How would you like to roll in your carriage, look for a duchess's daughter in marriage? Seize the shoemaker, then you may. 
Big boots are hunting, sandals in the hall, white for a wedding feast, pink for a ball. This way, that way, so we make a shoe, getting rich every stitch, tick tack two. Nine and ninety, treasure crocs, this keen miser fairy hath. Hid in the mountains, woods and rocks, ruin and round towers, cave and wrath. And where the cormorants build, from times of old, guarded by him, each of them filled to the brim with gold. I caught him at work one day myself, in the castle ditch where the foxglove grows, a wrinkled, wizened, and bearded elf, spectacles stuck on his pointed nose. Silver buckles to his hose, leather apron, shoe in his lap, rip rap tip tap, tick tack two, a grasshopper on my cap, away the moth flew. Buskins for a fairy prince, borgues for his son, pay me well, pay me well when the job is done. The rogue was mine beyond a doubt. I stared at him, he stared at me. Servant, sir, humph, says he, and pulled a snuff box out. He took a long pinch, looked better pleased, the queer little leprechaun, offered the box with a whimsical grace, poof. He flung the dust in my face and while I sneezed, was gone. And that was The Leprechaun or The Fairy Shoemaker. Both poems were written by William Allingham.